Now, if you're a fan of 70s or 80s punk or new wave, there's a good chance you've had a Stiff Records album. It was a pr provocative independent label that sprung out of London's thriving music scene and signed artists like Ian Dury and Elvis Costello. It closed in 1985, but not before making a huge impact on the industry. And that impact has now been detailed in a book. Rhea Chatterjee has been hearing from its author. You probably recognise these chart hits. But do you recognise the names Robinson and Riviera? The duo who launched the careers of Ian Dewey, Kirsty McCall, Madness and many more. One music journalist has decided to put their story in print. The reason that uh, Dave Robinson and Jake Riviera started Steph Records was because they were going to venues like the Nashville and the Hope and Anchor in London and when the whole pub rock scene was happening. And they saw these people who were writing amazing lyrics, uh, really talented singers and performers and songwriters, but, but they weren't getting heard. And, and it was kind of a frustration, I think, on the part of, of those two people that led to them starting Stiff off. It was 1976. Stiff Records formed just as punk rock began to develop. As a genre, it rejected mainstream rock, and Stiff Records rejected standard business strategy. By the mid-70s, the music industry was effectively, had become part of the kind of corporate jet set. Uh, it was actually part of normal business. Uh, and decisions about um, acts or as to whether to sign them and, and albums coming out, these decisions were taken in boardrooms, uh, over long meetings and so on. Stiff basically would take a decision written on the back of a fact packet in a pub over lunchtime. Something just like that probably happened here at the Hope and Anchor in Islington. Dave Robinson and Jake Riviera were well-known characters in this pub, watching keenly as bands performed in this rough and ready basement space. Richard interviewed a host of stiff artists as part of his research for the book. Most look back with fond memories. As soon as you mention it to people of a certain vintage, it kind of puts a smile on their face. Um, everyone remembers how fun it was. Everyone wants to immediately start talking about, oh yeah, they were there, this great slogan, do you remember that sleeve? The label buckled in the mid-80s and then came back in 2007. This small pub in Islington plays a big part in the story of Stiff Records. Rock history to paper as well as vinyl. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News.